In today's tutorial, we will compare a chiral transition metal catalyst with a chiral organometallic reagent structurally related and with a chiral auxiliary. Let us first start with this titanium complex, a titanium dichloride with an binaphthol ligand. The binaphthol has a chiral axis since those two perihydrogens can't not, cannot easily pass each other, at least not at moderate temperature. So, this titanium complex is rather strong Lewis acid and is able to catalyze, for instance, this reaction closely related to the Mukayama-Aldol reaction. In this case, with a NO acetal, it's activated by the titanium dichloride forming an aluminium cation as the electrophile which will attack the nucleophilic center of this TMS enolate. As the final product, we will receive in this case uh, this one with two stereogenic centers. Therefore, we have uh, four stereoisomers two diastereoisomers and their corresponding two enantiomers. We will have an enantiomeric excess in this case, or well, rather moderate, about 50% EE. Can we transform such a chiral catalyst into an organometallic reagent? Yes, of course. We need to form a titanium carbon bond that we have in definition an organometallic reagent. For instance, here the muffle group sitting at the titanium. This, for instance, would add to an aldehyde and after hydrolysis finally forming a secondary alcohol presumably well above 90% enantiomeric excess. What about a chiral auxiliary? For a chiral auxiliary we need a chiral moiety which is covalently bound to the other moiety where we intend to perform our reaction, our transformation. For instance, in this case, just adding one equivalent of bromine. This would be the result. Here the chiral axis, here a newly formed chiral center, hopefully with some excess and the advantage of a chiral auxiliary is that we obtain just two diastereoisomers which we usually can separate. After separation then we have the major diastereoisomer and the minor diastereoisomer and therefore in good yield with essentially, uh, with, uh, essentially enantio pure we will obtain one of the target of uh, one enantiomer of our target product and in addition, in addition, we can recover that chiral moiety 
which we then can use again for the same reaction or for a similar one. So, that step, the separation, the easy separation of uh, the intermediary diastereoisomer is the main advantage of the concept of using chiral auxiliaries since with a chiral catalyst you always have a mixture of enantiomers and enantiomers are of course far more difficult to separate compared to diastereoisomers. Thanks for listening.